Good afternoon, everyone. You are watching the Afternoon Agenda, and we need to talk about vaccine passports. Today is a huge day in British history, and potentially a make-or-break one for our Prime Minister. We're hearing that around 80 Tory MPs may rebel and vote against Boris Johnson's plans. And in the last couple of hours, the Labour Shadow Chancellor, Rachel Reeves, has pulled out of the vote due to Covid, amongst others, by the way. There's a chance this could lead to some other Labour MPs and indeed, of course, maybe some Tories self-isolating and therefore even fewer votes in favour of Boris's plans. It's definitely one to watch that. But it's the Tory rebels that are a real conundrum now for Boris Johnson. They come from right across the party and they're rebelling for a variety of different reasons. There are ultra-conservatives, there are libertarians, there are wets. It's across the board. Boris is apparently meeting with the Backbench 1922 committee at around 5.30pm, with the actual vote expected somewhere near 630 For Tory MPs, some of them anyway, it might be their first ever rebellion. And whilst the Prime Minister's plans are expected to go through... It's what's known in Sir Alex Ferguson footballing terms as squeaky bum time, lads. And it means that Boris Johnson may well, for the remainder of his premiership, be battling against a significant level of mutiny within his own ranks. It also means that the second the Labour Party decides to not support Boris's measures, it's game over. A constant sword of Damocles hanging over his head. I think one thing that's gone underreported is whether or not the SNP should be allowed to vote on this. They've said they'll support the government, but this stuff doesn't really affect them. So the SNP will have an influence over English people's lives by getting to vote on legislation that will have no real impact on them whatsoever. Can you imagine if that was the other way around? Nicola Sturgeon would turn puce, wouldn't she, and start stomping her feet, crying freedom. The irony is, of course, by waving Boris Johnson's legislation through, she keeps him in a job and, with that, ensures that the chance of having an independence referendum remains non-existent. The case for vaccine passports is that there is a dangerous new strain of, uh, of this variant on the loose. And in order to keep other people safe, it's important for people to show that they've been fully jabbed before they enter a nightclub, indoor unseated venues with more than 500 people, unseated outdoor venues.